It's a voice. I heard this voice. I'll give you two seconds. I heard it when I was flying, you know. and the voice is like my voice, except okay. it was saying strange words, and the words they were. So I thought. <laughs> Gamer spawn. What's up, guys? It's Agent Zero. And James Bond got nothing on me. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I love James Bond. He reminds me of 007 and GoldenEye and all those good games back back in the day. Back in the day. Um, but today we're talking about RPG elements in GTA 5. Now it's already agreed upon, not agreed upon, but confirmed that there will be GTA, I mean, RPG elements in GTA 5. And... A huge thing I just found out about and I'm actually redoing the entire audio for the video that I've already rendered and completed because I wanted to incorporate this because it was such a big part of what I was talking about that there's gonna be abilities in the next game and by that I mean um, for example one of the main characters is gonna have the ability to slow down time and sort of like how Max Payne did it like like the Matrix kind of thing in a gunfight um, or how um, I think Need for Speed Los Angeles, not Need for Speed, but Midnight Club Los Angeles did the same thing where you can slow down time and get around cars. It's that kind of thing. And you have to, you actually have to fill up an ability meter to do it, so you can't just spam it. So that's sort of controllable. And you're able to switch between the characters, and GTA is like pushing, like, you actually have to strategically use all three characters. You can't just, like, you know, right now I want to use Trevor. Maybe, uh, like you actually have to think about what you're doing so it's not gonna be as easy as you may think it is because you have three characters and there are two other abilities I'm not sure if they're confirmed as of yet but there also is a huge thing which is buying property now I don't know if that's houses if that's building condos and you could also buy businesses so I don't know if there's going to be an economy within the game or how it's going to work or if prices are going to fluctuate or it just sounds amazing though if you spend like maybe a hundred thousand dollars on a business and you get like three hundred thousand back because it succeeded or if you lose your money it's kind of like playing ultimate team on Madden or FIFA or playing my team on 2k13 the stuff they're incorporating into the game is ridiculous and I love the fact that they're adding RPG elements to the game but there's a line they have to draw that they can't pass before this turns into some sort of sims game and I say that because I don't want them doing stuff like having to eat just so your guy can survive or having to drink obviously you need water to survive but that could get very annoying that kind of annoying features should not be added to the game but being able to buy property being able to interact with um, the CPU in the game all that kind of stuff needs to be improved and they need to work on I don't know man, I'm just reading all these articles and it sounds amazing, really, really amazing that the three main characters all have their own strengths and you could actually improve what they do. One might be good at driving, one might be good at piloting, one might be good at fighting, shooting, there's lots of stuff you can improve about your character so they won't start off completely retarded with no skills but they'll start off better in some skills than others and you have to work on trying to make them as best as they possibly could be and this is what makes games fun I love RPG games so the addictiveness of just getting your character to become the best it possibly can is I don't know they've, they've done a lot with this game and I really applaud Rockstar for it the amount of time they took to create this game they say they're pushing the game to the absolute limit which sounds amazing <laughs> Now, great news for the multiplayer is that if they're adding all these amazing features to the single player about improving yourself and experience and buying all this property, the multiplayer is going to be even better in those categories. Like, if because the whole point of most multiplayer games is to start off bad or not as good and improve as you or gain rank or XP, and that way you earn stuff. I don't want to bring up Call of Duty, but they do a good job of giving you perks and weapons and attachments and that kind of stuff the more you use that specific thing or the more you level up so them adding this just makes you want to play the game more and there hasn't been a GTA upload not uploaded <laughs> uploaded 
a typical YouTuber. I mean, <laughs> released in a really long time, so the need for these types of games is ridiculous. There's SR3, which not so recently came out. Um, can't think of much more APB Reloaded. I actually cannot get that to work on my Steam. I don't know why, so I haven't played it. I've seen videos of it and it looks pretty cool. So if GTA just takes stuff that they found in other games similar to theirs and just works on it and I don't know if you guys just Google GTA 5 features you'll be hyped if you're not hyped for GTA 5 after googling that you must have not googled the right thing because <laughs> there is no reason you shouldn't be if you're into any types of actually I don't want to say any types of games but most types of games GTA 5 I'm hoping can break every record that Call of Duty did by way more than I don't know I'm just I'm hyped for it because I think they've listened to consumer demands like lots of cust like lots of companies don't and them adding these RPG elements just makes GTA even more addicting this means the multiplayer is going to be even better than for GTA 4 it was mediocre for its time but like for 2013 it's pretty lame but you can't really blame them for that GTA 5 I'm expecting close to perfection, a masterpiece of a product. And they've brought this upon themselves. <laughs> they've gave us all these teases, they've told us all these little packets of information that just makes us want to find out more and more about the game that they delayed till September 21st, so I can't really wait. Um, I'm too, it's like 12 o'clock right now and I'm yelling, so my whole family's gonna wake up and yell at me, but it's all good. <laughs> these are some comments, by the way in my last video that I found pretty funny and it, that related to the topic um, I just I go through pretty much every comment I don't reply to everyone this was that game response channel by the way so if you want to see your vid your comment in the next video just comment down below and let me know what features you want to see if they're RPG or not and what features you don't want to see because I'm I'm, I'm in shock right now <laughs> uh, this game has to be perfect it's been zero and I'm out stop stop it stop thank you I just wanted to say that I got a new mic so that's why my voice sounds a little bit different and if you guys want to see more GTA footage and I might be starting a new Madden series soon come over to my channel and I got all that kind of stuff and even more content so thank you for watching thank you gamer spawn and I'm out outro come on man I'm out